Hey booktube, it's Samantha and with today's category we're going to be talking about diseases. Now you could say, oh well why don't you just say zombies or the undead? They're usually started from, from diseases, right? Well with this one you really don't have the zombie aspect of it. You read it, you'll know why I say it. But it is this widespread epidemic that starts taking over the country and is kind of like the pre-post-apocalyptic <laughs> setting because things definitely aren't normal, but there are some places where people are still going to work. They're still trying to figure out how to get kids to go to school and all that kind of stuff. It's not like everything's fallen away. So I really, really love this book. If you follow me on Twitter, I'll leave my link down below if you don't, but you'll see that I actually recently just finished this book and I just could not wait to tell you guys about it. And that book is Night Parade by Ronald Melfi. For me, it gave me a mixture of Firestarter by Stephen King and the video game Last of Us vibes. If you put those two together, that's almost what this book was but with its own plot it didn't feel like it was ripping off their storylines they kind of just did their own thing um, if you don't know last of us is about the zombie outbreak the main character is a male with a younger girl who is immune to the zombie virus and they're trying to find a way to get a cure made from her in one form or another um, and that's kind of what happens in this book. You are following the main character, David, who has a younger girl named Ellie and then is married to a woman named Kathy. Both Kathy and Ellie are immune to whatever this widespread disease is. But the thing is, is that people aren't coming back to life. They just die when they get the illness. So that's why it's not necessarily a zombie book. You find out at the very beginning that Kathy dies while she's being experimented on to try and find a cure, but you don't really know what happens. But David gets really spooked and is afraid they're going to do the same thing to Ellie and they're going to kill her trying to find a cure. So he runs off with Ellie trying to find a safe space for her. And that's basically the premise of the book is just following them until hopefully they find somewhere safe and they go from place to place meeting certain people and some of them are good and some of them are not so good. <laughs> I again listened to this book on audiobook. I was a little intimidated. It's one of the longer books that I've read recently. I think it was 12 hours but dude I blew through it. I know I keep saying this but i legit loved this book so much. I was fully invested in these characters. I never knew how they were going to get through a situation. What's crazy to me is that on Goodreads, there are not that many reviews for this book. I'm pretty sure it's under a thousand. And so I'm really surprised by that. So make sure you go to your local library or if you find it in bookstores, pick it up because it is definitely worth it. I loved everything about this book. 